watching SightSoundsFlavors.com, ExploringKentucky.com. We're here in Frankfort, Kentucky, seat of Franklin County and the capital of the Commonwealth. And uh, as you can see, the capital is being uh, restored. It is Sunday morning and uh, we're going to take a walk around, see what kind of work they're doing. And um, also check out Frankfort in a second video. I want to show you around here as you can see a lot of protests take place here as well a lot of marching going on I've done it myself beautiful a lot of mountains around here everything is immaculate tons of history and I uh, just want to see how far I can zoom just to give you an idea and this beautiful road here leads all the way to the capital and if you're on the other side of it you can see a perfectly perfect bird's eye view and like I said the grounds are kept really really well and as you can see there's people walking and cycling and plenty of nice flowers trees everywhere I know people tell me when I move around so quickly with the camera they say I make them dizzy but come on it's worth it so what we're gonna do is gonna walk up these steps and I've been part of protests where that's been covered with people and uh, where you couldn't get a single more person in there with a shoehorn but that's the part of democracy that I love so much about our country about our Commonwealth here is that uh, you know this here everything you see here everything I mean everything all this beauty that right there that is the people's house it's not the politicians house it's the people's house so it's got to be treated with respect and um, people should know about it and the history is so important there's a reason why when the capital is being restored that it takes longer and it must be done with extreme care and attention to detail. It's because this building right here, this is history. Can't just, uh, you know, turn around and build another capital like this. There's history here, a lot of history here. Okay, so, sorry for preaching. We're here on Capitol Avenue and East State Street. So this is probably as centrally located as you can get. And so what we're gonna do, I wanna show you everything um, so that if you decide to come on over and visit, as you should, let me stress that, as you should, you'll get a nice little preview. We're also gonna look at the road from above. We're gonna look at the signs while enjoying our beautiful state capital grounds. Always maintain appropriate social distancing. We must all do our part to flatten the curve of COVID-19. And that is as true now as when the pandemic broke out. I mean, anybody that thinks the pandemic is a hoax at this point is an idiot. I know of people that have died, many people that have died, and even though we have vaccines and we know a lot more about it and it's controlled, I don't want to get it. I hope you never get it. So prevention is never outdated. You can see the grounds here, just beautiful. And even on early Sunday morning, there's a good amount of traffic and people driving around. Oh, check out those lights. And these beautiful plants here, flowers. Some nice trees here. And I'm real serious, guys. This is the people's house. Again, a lot of people, they look at government in a very 
peculiar kind of way like they see like elected officials as a class above the citizenry and that's absurd that defeats the whole purpose of what our republic is based on and I know you should never tell a police officer or a firefighter hey I pay your salary because that is really a rude thing to say but if you kind of want to get real technical about it we do that's why they're called civil servants so that's not a license to be rude or smart alecky it's just to give you perspective that everything that you see here is built on tax dollars you ever wonder where your tax dollars go to you're looking at it you know what i mean the architecture second to none And this is the closest I've ever been because, like I said, I've always been here for rallies and I'm always down there somewhere. So. It's a nice uh, landscaping arc there. And we're going to go all the way up. They're closed now, but... And I've seen it, of course, without the uh, scaffolding, and it's really, truly remarkable. So, how many steps do we have here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps. I wonder if there are sets of eight. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight again how about over here one two three four five six seven eight so there's something about eight steps because you got 24 steps total and here you got three one two three i wonder what the symbolism of 27 is Or if there's any at all, and it's maybe just coincidence. Kentucky Lincoln Heritage Trail. Got the uh, visitor entrance. Looks like they're open eight to four. And this is the Kentucky State Capitol Building, built 1904 to 1910. Has been placed on the National Registrar of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. Very nice. I'm gonna like zoom in here a little bit. Look at the mountains there. Uh, these beautiful lights over here as well that we saw several uh, levels below so very 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 beautiful so I hope you enjoyed Kentucky State Capitol here in Frankfort, Franklin County, Kentucky. Let's walk around it a little bit. Why not? This on a weekday, you know, is full of people, and uh, the building is open for tours, and it's a lot more than what you would see on the weekends. But on the weekends, it's great to come and walk. I mean, you know, a lot of times I tell folks, 
that go to the gym to walk in the treadmill or whatnot that you can come on outside and walk somewhere like here and get so much history go to Georgetown or Versailles and see some beautiful architecture you can go to southeastern Kentucky and make a weekend of it you can make a cardio weekend out of it explore the mountains and I mean you can't compare this to a television at Planet Fitness you know what I mean there's so much history here and behind the Capitol there's some other state buildings they want people to come and sit obviously because they've got chairs and they've got nice little tables Got some more restoration work going on back there, as you can see. Can't even imagine what this project will cost, but it's well, well worth it. say that's a good idea you can see over here there's folks walking don't take my word for it like I said you can't compare this to uh, a treadmill at anytime fitness this is uh, an opportunity to just see history before your very eyes burn some calories if you so desire Go to Best Buy, get yourself a, a DSLR and take some beautiful photos. I mean, whatever you want to do, you can do it. And it doesn't cost you a cent. Well, you pay your taxes for it, right? So it does. But what I mean is there's no admission. And knowing your history is so important. A lot of people have told me your buildings in Kentucky look so old I'm like it's because they are you know what I mean let's see if anyone in the comments knows what number state Kentucky was I think you'll be surprised it wasn't one of the 13 colonies but it was definitely one of the following ones I wonder if anyone knows don't cheat don't go on Wikipedia let's see if you actually know Leave in the comments if you know what number Kentucky State was. And if you cheat, it's okay because at least you'll know, right? Knowledge is power after all. You know what? Let's do this side as well. Let's see what we see over here. Just look at that. Anno Domini. I have no idea what that means. Latin. I'll definitely look it up now. Not knowing is okay. Not knowing and then learning it? That's the way to go. That's when you really, really, truly learn, when you really, truly retain. Not knowing in public and there being awkwardness and then learning. Then you really retain. Then you take that to the grave. And that is also great. Look at those beautiful, uh, beautiful leaves, I guess you would call them. They're not leaves, but they're, those are leaves, but I don't know what those were over there, but. And uh, Frankfurt's got a beautiful neighborhood, which we will check out in the Frankfurt, Kentucky video. This is the Kentucky State Capitol video. Love this bench here. Gosh, look at that.
quiet, but I get pretty impressed myself. Don't think just because I'm exploring Kentucky and I'm seeing all this, I don't get impressed as well. That'll account for those moments of silence. <coughs> Excuse me. I do love these lights, they're really nice. I wonder what they look like all lit up at night. Maybe that will be a video at some point in the future. Maybe we'll go in here just to look. Employee entrance, badge access only. Nice curtains too. I don't know what kind of trees these are here, but I'm really liking them. They have like pine needle leaves or something. All right, well, once again, thanks for watching SightSoundSlavers.com, ExploringKentucky.com. This is the Kentucky State Capitol in Frankfort, Franklin County, Kentucky. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. And we'll see you for the next one.